This is Prince Hanley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure love. I want to talk to you today again about experiencing miracle production. But particularly today, I want to speak to you about dying to reign. This is part three in a series. Yeshua taught, except a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it brings forth much fruit. You can read that in the Brit Hadashah in the book of John, chapter 12, verse 24. If you will die to that thing or to those things about which God is speaking to you, you will see increased productivity, miracle production. You will see resurrection. One day God spoke to me to go preach in the open air in a large metropolitan area during a torrential downpour of rain. I thought, I only have one suit and one pair of dress shoes. I would always wear a suit and tie when I preached. It was raining so heavily for such a long period of time that the water was coming over the curb in the street onto the sidewalk where I was preaching. People were actually taking off their shoes and carrying them across the streets in this large metropolitan city. I was not using a loudspeaker or amplification equipment. I was just preaching into the loud rain with my voice to the passersby. On the way home, my good black shoes were turning white, getting mildewed, and my suit was drenched, and I wondered, did anyone receive Christ or have a miracle while I was preaching? About four days later, a man called me from about 1,200 miles away, about 2,000 kilometers. And he said, I can't get your name out of my mind. An attorney I knew had told the man about me some time before, and the Lord kept bringing my name to this man who called me. He asked me, do you need anything? I answered him, I don't need anything. Jesus Christ takes care of all my needs. He said, well, I want to do something for you anyway. Can you meet me tomorrow at the South Coast Plaza? I told him I would, and the next day he took me shopping for clothing. Every time he would give me a $100 traveler's check, I would tithe out of it. He said, you don't have to tithe out of that. I have already tithed out of it. That's your money to spend. I told him, that's okay. I know who blesses me, and I'm going to tithe to God. I walked out of that shopping center with eight changes of clothing and a new pair of handsome kidskin shoes. I died to the rain, to my one suit and my one pair of dress shoes, and God brought resurrection, increased productivity in the spirit, eight changes of clothing. There was an important reason God wanted me to go preach, even if I didn't see it that day. Another time when God asked me to go preach in a heavy rainstorm, I did not see anything happen at the time. However, in a few days, a lady called me. I don't know how she obtained my phone number, and she said, You don't know who I am, but I was driving down Broadway, and I saw you preaching in the rain. My husband is blind, and he was with me in the car. I described you to him, and he said, I would like to meet that man. She was amazed because she told me, My husband does not want anything to do with preachers. She said, Could we meet with you somewhere? I felt the Lord impressing me to invite them to my home for dinner. When they came to dinner, the Lord allowed me to lead the man to Christ. About six months later, I heard a loud knock on my door. It was that same lady's husband. He came straight toward me and hugged me and told me that about two weeks before, he had been baptized in the Holy Spirit and healed so that he could now see. I died to the rain, and God brought resurrection power. What is God asking you to die to? Is it that power play in your family or at the office? Is it your impatience or your ego? Or is it that interpersonal relationship at your synagogue or your church or ministry? What is it about which the Lord is or has been dealing with you? Is it a person or thing? I promise you on the authority of God's holy word that if you will die to that person, that thing, that situation, whatever it is, whoever it is, God will bring forth resurrection life, productivity in the spirit. Remember, the Holy Spirit is God's agent on earth to supply the resurrection power of Messiah Jesus. Pray now. Obey God and yield to him. Die to that situation, that person, that thing, and then watch God bring resurrection life and multiply it around the world.
I trust this teaching will help you, my friend. This is Apostle Talk, and this is your friend, Prince Handley, coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing, Holy Spirit, miracle-working love. 